Hello, 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 dolls. It is I, Artwork of DR, DJ Kitty Ruby. You know your girl. And we are back today with another little version of my mini paintings. Um, this time I decided to involve all three of the pieces. I was going to cut this into three miniature videos, but I decided it's the Powerpuff Girls. I mean, you can't really do one by themselves. Plus, these are really short little paintings anyway. So I figured I might as well put them together and show you them as the group of paintings. <clears throat> I started out with my all-time favorite Powerpuff Girl, Bubbles. Um, she is my favorite due to personality. Um, <laughs> she is just so bubbly like it's just cute that her name is bubbles and the fact that her personality is just so cute and bubbly I mean you you can't go wrong with that she's adorable I mean she's got the blonde piggy tails I mean she loves creatures you know all that jazz and again I know there's gonna be times in this video where it kind of goes out of frame and I apologize for that last time with the um, fairy tale symbol, and I do apologize again. When I was recording this, the camera above me, it I thought when I was shooting it that it was set to go, and I thought I knew exactly where it was showing, but it turned out that I was wrong just by a little bit in some cases. So I do apologize for it going in and out of frame. It's, it wasn't my choice. I kind of got distracted. I've got three kids and, you know, it, it was what it was at the time. I was working on things and I decided not to have the footage playing back the whole entire time as I was doing it. So I didn't constantly look to see if everything was up there being filmed properly. And I apologize from now on. Every time I film, I have it up so that I can see it and I try to make adjustments as I go so this is old, a little bit of an older footage it was from the beginning of summer I believe so I do apologize for that but yes um, <laughs> I loved the experience of doing the miniature paintings I did a total of six I think these three and the fairy tale and then I did Sailor Pluto later. You'll see that one later. And then I also did Kilala from Inuyasha. That one will also be later. I'll probably put those two together maybe. I'm not sure. I already did the fairy tale piece. That was the first one that I did. And then um, these three I'm putting together here for you. Uh, <laughs> so I did these in stages. I basically did a very rough sketch of the Powerpuff Girl on the canvas which isn't as easy as it would appear to be due to the fact that I have big hands and stumpy fingers and <laughs> my hands don't want to work as well as they used to work due to my fibromyalgia and other things that I have got going on with my hands um, carpal tunnel and all that so I mean I did the best that I could they're very very quickly sketched and then I just kind of painted and adapted to you know making sure they looked you know closest to the characters I could uh, once I got the girls and their background painted uh, I do go back in later and do like little dashes of other colors like white and a lighter blue for bubbles here and then I do like a darker pink ish red with some white for blossom and a greenish blue color in the streaks and white with um, buttercup um, because it was just too plain plus it kind of looks like they're standing in like a beam of light almost that's so moving it's like particles you know it looks really cute so I really hope you dolls enjoy this little video um, I had a lot of fun making these. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if I'll be making any other really tiny pieces like this with acrylic paint. Uh, <laughs> mostly due to the fact that it's not my best work. Um, I feel like 
when you do tiny pieces, the details have to be really good and really spot on. And it was just really hard for me to get that done uh, with my hands. And at the end, I did go over the outline with a pen. And I probably shouldn't have done it with pen. I probably should have done it with paint. But I didn't want to mess it up with paint. I couldn't get the smallest lines that I wanted to with paint. I'd already tried and it didn't work. So that's why I went in with pen just to do the outlines of the Powerpuff Girls. So it is what it is. And I, like I said, I enjoyed making these cute little things. I don't know what I'm going to do with them. They're just kind of sitting around. Um, I have the Kalala one that I'm going to make a video, edit the video for that footage soon. Um, I do have that one hanging up in front of my art desk. It's just a tiny little thing. Um, the Pluto, she is on my fridge because she was a magnet one. And my daughter has the fairy tale symbol because fairy tale is like one of her favorite animes of all time. And yeah. So, I mean... I got them, they're done, they look cute, and I did it to challenge myself just to see if I could paint that small. Uh, <laughs> if you dolls decide to do something similar, let me know, send me a shout out, link, thing, whatever, hit me up in my Discord, be like, hey girl, I did this video, can you look at it? Um, I would love to see you, know, you guys challenge yourselves. In a small challenge like this I mean it is fun to see what kind of things you can create I may or may not be doing any more of these I don't know I think I might want to try doing some landscapes like mini landscapes but I don't know I might decide to do them in watercolor just like custom watercolor paper up pretty really small and like do my best with that but I don't know let me know what you dolls think I should try next I do have some other projects in the works, as always, because, you know, I'm constantly doing things, and now my kids are back in school. Yay! <laughs> I mean, I love my babies, don't get me wrong, dolls, but quiet time, as an artist, as a mother, as, you know, it, it, it goes unsaid. It's a lot of work being a parent, and having some of your own quiet time is really nice. Um, after uh, the incident this summer, I am now have a bedtime. I cannot stay up super late and have quiet time then. Uh, so the only time I get quiet time by myself is while my kids are at school and the hubby is at work. I only have like maybe about a two hour span at night before I go to bed um, that is quiet. put my babies down at 8.30 and they talk to themselves or each other for about half an hour to an hour no matter what I do and yeah so I mean I don't really have a lot of downtime except for during the day and I am working on making sure that I'm doing things it is my first few days back at having quiet time um, I streamed the other day for the first time in a long time on my Twitch channel, DJ Kitty Ruby, and it was a lot of fun. I played some Nina Kune too, uh, <laughs> reconnected with a follower, which was really sweet. And uh, yeah, so we are getting back into the swing of things, dolls, and I'm going to be recording and editing and even doing live streams. Yes, I said it, live streams. So if you dolls don't already, you should go to Twitch, look me up on Twitch. My, you know, it's DJ Kitty Ruby on there. I also have a Discord. Um, the link should be in the things. If it's not in the things here, it should be in the in the description box below. I should have a link there. If it does not work for some reason, because I've had this happen to me in the past, I've put a link and then it didn't work someone let me know and I fixed it um, if it does not work just comment below that you're interested in getting into the discord channel with me and it's not working and I will make a new link and make sure that it is good to go and I'll send it to you and you can come hang out with me there I do updates on there occasionally when I have a video 
And yeah, I don't know, like you can show your works in progress, you can post when you make a new video for your channel, let us know what you're up to. It's a lot of fun. I've made a lot of great connections with other channels, um, other artists, and it's been a lot of fun getting to know other people and just having people similar to myself that are doing artwork and just, you know, having fun with it, having their nice channels and doing things that they like to do. So if you dolls are interested in that, I will be putting that below for you dolls. Okay, so just a quick note on the blossom piece. I noticed here that the color behind her was more orange than red or pink. So I do mix another color, as you see now, and I do put it in the background. Um, sometimes when you're mixing paints and you start putting it on the canvas, it's basically just like a thin layer, especially on these smaller canvases. Um, they're kind of cheap. Um, I mean, they were expensive for how small they were, but they are kind of cheap. So it's not the best canvas, and so it did take a little bit more paint to cover them than I thought it would. So I had to do at least two layers to the backgrounds to keep the white from showing. Uh, <laughs> so my apologies, but you know, you do what you gotta do. It's a learning curve. Um, let me know which one of these is your favorite because, like I said, my favorite character is Blossom, not Blossom, Bubbles. But, I mean, they're all super cute. I can't really necessarily pick just one that I like the most. I know, I know. I should be able to pick just one to be my all-time favorite, but I just can't. You know, they're just so adorable and so cute. And in my eyes, they are all really cool in their own ways. Bubbles, her personality is just super awesome. Blossom, she is the leader. And she can be tough, but she can also be sweet. And then we've got Buttercup, who is the tomboy. And growing up, I was a major tomboy, and so I like her for that. She is definitely spunky. So I mean, like... I don't really have an exact favorite, I guess is what I'm saying. I like them all for different reasons. They're all super cute and they all have very cute personalities. So let me know in the comments below which one is your favorite, if you can even pick a favorite, because I know that for me sometimes it's hard to pick a favorite when you like all the characters. Anyway, dolls, I have talked throughout this whole video so far, and I apologize. I tend to do that. I tend to lose track of myself, and yeah. So anyway, I hope you dolls have enjoyed this mini video, and I hope you enjoyed the mini acrylic painting series that I've started doing here. I know it's not a very big series, but I mean, I'm not trying to make a series out of it, I guess. I was just trying to challenge myself, and if I put all the footage in at one time, it would have been too long, even sped up. So that's why I tried to cut them down and do different things for each one of them. And like I said, I was going to do that with the three of these, but I decided I really need to keep them together, uh, especially since I haven't made an art video since the other week. Uh, last week was just a little mini DIY video, and this week's video is the art-related video. Hopefully, don't, don't, <sighs> hopefully, sorry, I will be able to get more than one video every week soon, but, I mean, I'm not going to sit here and push myself to do something if I know it's not totally feasible. My schedule changes from week to week, my life changes from week to week, my health changes from week to week to day to day, and so I do as much as I can do with my limitations without hurting myself so and that's kind of what you have to do in my situation if you push yourself too hard for any reason at all it could be bad and just horrible for your health and things so I learned a long time ago not to push myself not to put too many restrictions on myself not to put demands on myself so I hope you dolls can understand that and bear with me as I figure out what works best for me and my channel 
And uh, yeah, I hope you dolls enjoy. <laughs> <laughs>